Hey, I'm Caleb, and I am now in Puerto Rico. So you're looking at a video of where I now live. So I'm gonna show you where I'm living, and what it looks like, and life, I guess, so. So you got the front door here. And that takes you to the living room. Okay, we got a glass table. I'm presently unpacking, so these don't come into the home, but if you ever want to, you know, read Nietzsche or doubt that, you know, they're, they're, they're on the table. Um, we got a couch right here. It's hot, um, which is what Santa Barbara was like. No one had AC, it was all just open window. But here we actually have AC, so that is an improvement. Over here is the kitchen opposite of the table. Let's go in there. So here we have the kitchen. I unpacked supplements already. So this wouldn't be here. That would be clean, but I just unpacked washer and dryer, picture of a horse, pots and pans, a coffee pot. And if you want to do some mopping, there's a mop here. So this is our kitchen. Pretty cool stove top, I'm, I'm digging it. Tall roof, We've got little slated windows here that look out to the other parts of the city. And then the cabinets, let's see what we got here. We got, I got a blender and they have rope lights. This is cool, it reminds me back of my, uh, my home in Tempe. All LED'd. Rum, okay. This used to be the, the home office, or office actually, not home, of the company. So, I guess they drank a lot. Or Nicole left that. So if Nicole left that, thank you, Nicole. Dishes. Um, more dishes, okay. So, fridge, and my drink from the airport. And then we come down here. And we have the bathroom with a light switch, which for some reason isn't working. That's odd. Huh, I'll have to figure that out. Over here is a bedroom. I think it's actually a, a den. I don't know if I think it's a bedroom, but it is currently touted as a bedroom. That's where I will be sleeping tonight with a little bitty pillow and sheets. As I'm currently trying to figure out where to put all my clothes when I don't actually have a dresser. So, that is a work in progress. This is weird to me too. This um, little door, it's slated right into the bathroom. And there's no real way to close them. So either people are looking at you sleep, or you're on the couch looking at people go to the bathroom. So, it's interesting. A little bit creepy too. And then opposite of that bedroom, you have the, the master bedroom. Work in progress. They are renovating. I think they just painted. They're doing something or another too. In here you have a, its own bathroom and a giant walk-in closet. Yeah, right there. So this will be fixed up hopefully soon. And um, I'll use it for Airbnb. Because I don't imagine this tiny bedroom We'll have much of a return on there, but you never know. And then when you walk out here, we have a beautiful balcony. It's a wraparound. So you can't quite see the beach from here, but the beach is directly on the other side of that hotel or office building, whatever that is. I don't know what that is. Um, and yeah, it's a not a bad view. You could walk to the beach in about two minutes, probably. It's right through that little alley. Massive bedroom again. Right down here, 
you have the wind chimes hotel which I barely have access to with my key so although I don't have a pool within my own building I can go over there and use their jacuzzi hot tub and it's it's part of the um, amenities you could say so today's a unique day to arrive in Puerto Rico because the the unions that control power and water are in the process of going on strike. And there are threats that tomorrow there will be no power, no water, and there will be barricades and marches taking place to remove these utilities from the common people. So that's an interesting occasion. So I have a generator nearby at the, the wind chimes over there, hotel, so I'm okay but there's definitely gonna be some activity tomorrow. And I'm walking around here with um, my friend Shane, he pointed out how vacant it is. There's normally a lot of people out here, but due to the potential event tomorrow, a lot of people are indoors, keeping it calm, keeping themselves out of the way. And that's the end of my video vlog. I didn't really plan it out and it just ends very abruptly. So here's a formal ending. I'm alive after that protest. It really wasn't that momentous. Nothing really happened. You wouldn't have even known it happened except for, I guess, the streets being a little more vacant. But um, yeah, stay tuned for video two where you find out where that horse painting came from and where I put a little more effort into the production value. Um, and yeah, yeah, just stay tuned. Bye.